I'm Mike Blayback. I'm a photographer, and that's pretty much what I do. I've just been taking pictures for a living for almost 20 years now. You know, what's funny is even as a kid, I was always intrigued by cameras themselves. I didn't really know much about photography. I'd go on field trips and use, you know, shoot way too many photos of just dumb stuff. But I always was anxious to see them, you know, and like wanted to check the photos out all the time. And then when I was 12, I started skateboarding, and that's what really got me interested in photography. I just tripped out on like the photos of skating, like the, the fisheye photos and the weird lighting and like the streaks of light and just everything about photography in, in those magazines intrigued me so much that I would buy like photo magazines and books and you know at the time there was no internet so I would just do whatever I could to find out all the information about like how they how they made those photos and like you know and in turn I just learned a lot about photography. So that's what really got me sparked you know, on photography was, was skateboarding. I learned how to like process, print, film, everything in my parents' basement. They actually took their laundry room and made it into a dark room. My parents bought me a Nikon F3. I'd read like Ansel Adams books to like learn about the technique of processing. 2005 is when I switched completely over to digital. And I was super reluctant to do it because I didn't see like the art aspect into it. It seemed too easy. When I was shooting film, I could always shoot a Polaroid or see how the light was and test it out. But digital seems so easy because you just see everything that's going on in the back of your camera. But I was actually forced to do it. When I shot Danny jump over the Great Wall of China, I was required to shoot it digitally. I just figured I might as well go all in and learn from there. And I figured I might as well do the same thing I did with film as a kid. I might as well learn everything about digital, you know, photography because I still love photography. For me, a really good photo of skateboarding is about the skateboarding itself. My photo of Costin's back nose blown on Hubba was shot with like 3200 speed print film that I got from a drugstore that I overdeveloped, you know, and that's not technically one of my better photos, but it's still looked back upon as being like a very iconic image because of what was in it. You want to look at a photograph and you want it to give you that feeling or like you want it to inspire you, make you want to go out and skate. You can shoot something a certain way, you know, it's, it's just like, I still feel like a photograph in 2013, you know, there's photographs from, you know, 20, 30 years ago that, that hold up to photographs now, you know, because of that reason, because of what's in it, or, you know, the way it makes you feel when you look at it. This one's been open one year and a month now. We are six shops deep. Two out in Victorville, Palmdale, Lancaster, one in Hollywood.